How do you say this, Tracy? People are going, homes are too expensive. Have you heard that? I have heard that. Homes are too expensive. And just like anything, it's relative. It's relative to, in this particular case, what is your rent going to cost? Right. So owning a home, is it still more affordable than renting one? That's that's the question. So it's interesting in the um, days of pandemic and all the changes that we faced, you know, a lot of people are seriously thinking I should own a home. I should I own a home? And the whole, you know, we're spending more time in our home and all that. We've had a lot of people questioning that. And so really the charts will say if you can qualify to buy a home and you're going to be in the home for two years or more, typically the cost of the home comparable to what you might be able to rent is going to be less than renting. And, and what we've seen, Tracy, over the years, and this has held true for a long time now in, in here in the Albuquerque market, is home prices you know, going up, rent prices going up. I mean, the lines basically just track each other if you look right. at it from a percentage right. appreciation. So it's it's not like, okay, if I if I rent, I'm going to save money over owning. And the, the math works out just about every time, and, and it's held true forever. And if you intend to be in your home for at least 18 months, the, the, the cost of, of owning is going to be less than the, the cost of renting. I mean, we can't say that with 100% certainty Absolutely, because, you know, the house could end up with a, a repair issue that makes it off balance or something. But sure. but in general, it it's better to be an owner. But Yeah, and I'm talking very broad statistically for sure, right, of course. Right. Yes, yes. The, the things that a lot of people, we've talked about this a lot, but, you know, all the reasons why owning is better intrinsically. Yeah, and so I was just talking numbers, but, but right, there's all the other out, stuff flat too. Flat out numbers, it should be um, a better monthly outflow as an owner versus a renter. And we've seen huge increases in rents this past year, right? In the past 12 months, rent prices in our area have really significantly taken a jump. Yeah, the the, the, the number on that is somewhere around 15% is what home, uh, excuse me, um, uh, rental prices have gone up, and that's that's across the board. I mean, it's not necessarily just single family. That's apartments. That's you know duplexes, or excuse me, um, you know multi-unit uh, apartments and everything. So, yep. yeah, it's um, it's the the thing that's interesting though is when you look at some of the the historical data on what it the the cost of your housing. I'm not talking buying. I'm just talking about your place to live. Right historically it's run around 30 percent of your income well today it's still only around 20 percent of right. your income so that, that, that's a that, real affordability it, number and again that's comparing median home price to median uh, income for for the area so right. it, it's anyway it, it's tough when you see prices go up 25 percent in two years and not say oh my gosh homes are just too expensive well, what's too expensive? Yeah. Yeah. So it's a so, question, I mean, everybody chal gets challenged with and, and uh, you, you just got to do the math. And in, in my, you know, that, at least in my brain and my engineer brain is you got to do the math, right? Right. So. so the other thing we have is a program where people can pick out their house, have it purchased for them with cash. So they're a competitive buyer and uh, have a lease purchase yep. program already in place. for So for up to five years, they can move forward on purchasing the house. T tell us more about that program, Tracy, because that's a great program. That it, It's a very little known program, but it is available here in the Albuquerque market. You just need to reach out to us and, and we'll, we'll hook you up. Right. Tell us about it. So it's a, it's a program where we partner with another company that buys a house. You pick it out. You qualify. You fill out an application on their site. We then go, once you get approved for how much price to buy and what kind of house you can afford, uh, we go shopping and uh, pick out the house, and they buy it with a lease in place to you. So you know, like long term, you can paint the walls the color you want because you're going to eventually become the owner. And you agree at each stage of that next five years, what you would pay for that home 
when you convert it into a purchase. And if for some reason your plans change and you end up relocating to Las Cruces, you don't have to move forward and you've had a house that you've been in. But you have the option and it's all upfront what the price would be on the house each year should you convert it to that purchase. It's a good option for people that aren't sure they might want to buy, but they might not. So they get the option. It's also good for people that maybe need to work on their credit. Something right. happened, they haven't been in a job long enough, whatever, and they need to you know, do a little little touch up on their, their credit. Right, perfect for that. Yep. Um, sometimes it's just helpful to get the house you want in the neighborhood you want because they're going to be buying the house with cash, so it makes you a stronger buyer. Right. You know, in this market. So that's an option. Call us, 448-8888, if you want to learn about how that lease purchase program works, basically. It's fun, though, because you get to pick the house, and yes. then they go and buy it. Yeah, no, so, it's, it's it's a great program, yeah. and, and uh, it's, it is. it's really nice. It's available. And those type of things, those type of uh, programs and let's call it, you know, real estate business models, there's more and more of those coming out. That's right. just one of them. There's a lot of stuff in Phoenix. It's, Phoenix seems to be the, uh, the the market where there's a lot of these different business models around the real estate and ho- ownership. Um, so we see a lot of them over there, and then they start to migrate our way. 